Hey YouTube, it is time for another edition of checking out the highest scoring replays of a certain player. And even though I didn't do a poll to decide which person to follow this time, I had a feeling that Nupo might be an exciting player to watch as he drops the ball down underneath the jumping defender because of the way that we have seen Nupo play in show matches. But also, Nupo is a pretty hard ranked grinder. You see him high at the top of the two's leaderboard frequently. Right now, he's number two as he scores another goal before I even get done doing the intro uh, with Zen being number one. Of course, we've already checked out Zen's games. But Nupo's games, and specifically this first game that we're starting with, is the highest scoring game I've seen of any of the games so far. So we've done first killer, Zen, Daniel, and now Nupo. Look at that pre-flip to launch the ball. So Nupo making records here. We'll see if we ever end up finding somebody who has even more. If you're interested in seeing a certain player, make sure you let me know in the comments and maybe that'll be who we do next. But for now, we have Nupo and Hisoka playing against Menzu and NK5. And Nupo's team already up 2-0. This one happened very, very recently too. As we see a wave dash into the back wall read. Defender just missing. And to be honest, there's probably going to have to be a little bit of help from defenders to get as ridiculous of a game as we end up seeing here. But Nupo, like I said, did this within the week. Little reset. Drops the ball down and powers it past as he uses the change of speed to the surprise the defender. Four goals, and we are just a minute in. Now, normally when I look at these replays, I see somebody, this is a great, a couple different slow plays that we actually see from Nupo here. You see everybody expecting him to go fast, and considering he normally goes really, really fast, it's uh, worth noting that he knows when to slow it down and drop it underneath people. But he's also really loving this single jump pop. This time the reset 50. I'm, I'm trying to talk about the game, but he's scoring too fast. He is scoring too fast. 6-0. And the other team couldn't even forfeit yet. It would be six more seconds until they'd be allowed to forfeit. And that brings me to my other point that I was about to say. As the orange team scores here, which maybe, you know, makes them feel like maybe we don't have to forfeit, even though it's now possible, uh, is that normally overtimes take up the top few of the highest scoring replays because you just hit the ball around and gain so many points. Nupo missing this back wall double, but not the case for Nupo. His top two games did not include overtime. This was number one, and the number two uh, was a little bit earlier in the past, but we'll check that one out next. Nice quick play off the wall. Nupo tried to delay that shot into the bottom left as long as he could. And we shouldn't be surprised here that he turns around and stays on the ball instead of letting his teammate take over. He was doing that even when he was playing in RLCS. And we were watching from the perspective of the fastest player we had ever seen at the time. Ahsoka not able to get a double here. To be fair, the orange team has slowed Nupo down. No longer is he scoring every 10 seconds. Nupo swinging really wide on the field right now to let Hisoka set up and prepare for any shot or sorry, any pass that might come his way in order to get a shot. Using his teammate now as he single jumps to the wave dash pass. Sending this one to the side wall. For a demo attempt on the back wall, he just slams into Min Menzu. He just kind of gave him a high five there. No demo. As he tried to wave dash his way onto him and Nupo over committing to the near post. So two straight goals. Two straight goals for the orange team. And if I'm being honest, it's probably an important part of all these replays because if he continued to score, it's an early forfeit and we never get to run the score all the way up. But Nupo drops this reset down low. Gonna swing wide for some boost. Has faith that that double's not being hit. I'm not sure he should have had faith because it looked like it definitely could have. And the follow-up actually is a goal as well. So. The orange team showing why they're such believers. Three straight for them as we get underneath the two minute mark. Pass in field accidentally. NKS is up, but it's not going to matter. And this becomes an absolute layup when it's Nupo knowing he has every defender beat. So that's seven goals, a thousand score, all seven scored by Nupo. Three of them assisted by Hisoka. Hisoka and RLCS. Middle Eastern player, in case you didn't know. 
Ooh, this is a well placed shot. Oh, I thought for a second they ended up saving it. But no. 7 4. With a minute 30 left to go. Lupo into the back corner. Soka playing fairly passive, I would say, in net. Letting Nupo do a lot of his own stuff, and maybe that's just the dynamic he's gotten used to playing alongside Nupo. Wouldn't be too surprised if he has learned to just let Nupo go to work. Pre-jump over the top of Nupo's dribble did not work. Full field from the back corner. Reset right into the top shelf. 8-4. All eight goals still scored by Nupo. 1,300 score. Kickoff. Lost right back into Nupo. Wave dash into the power shot top left. Threatening so many options. 9-4. A minute left to go. Can Nupo do even more to this team? He really likes this single jump into the ball to chip it up and then wave dash out of it. Something that I don't see a ton of players doing, but I really like. And definitely seems to be a move prioritizing speed. Something that Nupo is always going to be a pioneer in. I'm going to make this say We haven't seen too many zap dashes out of Nupo. Something I would have expected him to pick up. Now he's certainly feeling comfortable with 30 seconds left to go as he flies to the ceiling and is just searching for a clip now. Zero boost to work with. That actually looked on target. Maybe that counted as a save. I think it was just wide, but good enough. Missing the corner boost. Certainly not what he needs to do if he wants to make it 10 4. Doesn't he know he's probably setting records with this ranked game? I guess not. Looks like not much will happen here in the final minute. Hizoka, one last reset as he dunks the ball to the ground. And Nupo gets 1,695 score. Nine goals, 13 shots, four saves, no overtime. But we have another ridiculous game from Nupo coming up next. Game number two, Nupo playing alongside, if you ask the nameplates, 17. But actually, it is Mizixi. Mizixi, somebody who you see in the RLCS and who has played a bunch of 1v1 on the channel. is going to pass in field for Nupo as he scores immediately within the first nine seconds. Playing against Rebzi and Kiernan, players we also see in the 1v1 scene. So this two's lobby showing a lot of representation to the 1v1 grinders. Nupo upfield. Zixi not quite able to get it to him. You see he's wanting to creep up and stay upfield. He's expecting a pass to come eventually. This flick goes over the top of Kiernan. And now total space. Kiernan's not going to have the best of recoveries. Can Nupo get this read? Oh, he just ends up faking it. He was trying to get up. Either get to the ball or just try and pre-read the clear to dunk it back in. And I think he ends up making Kiernan panic a bit more than he should have. And, and just misses the save. Let's the initial lob fall in. Nupo. Goal on 50. Stuck with no boost. His worst nightmare. Pulling this dribble all the way to the ground. Mizixi very greedy to be right underneath him. Not great communication if they happen to be communicating. I doubt they were in this ranked twos game. But from our perspective, Nupo's perspective, pretty clear. Nupo is going to be using the last bit of his boost to carry it all the way down and try and low 50, something that he does not need Mizixi to help him do. Instead, he needs Mizixi back and ready to react. That's a great shot. Cross part down. Maybe gives you an idea of things that would happen a lot. Maybe they are in communication because I swear left goes almost every replay I see. Even in EU, I I'm pretty sure that's a all-around type thing. Maybe they're doing a little quick chatting but even in these replays it's never really seems to be anything but left goes this is probably going to be a finish yes for Mizixi as Nupo protects the ball a little bit can't shoot it but gets the ball to drop right down in front of the net which is very likely to be followed up zero boost for Nupo wow what great recognition so tempting at the midfield to go and grab the hundred when you're that close but Nupo recognizes a way that he can score by prioritizing a play on the ball and catches that second player out of position. Just a slight mix-up in timing can be enough to get you a goal. 
Revzy trying to 50 with Nupo. I bet you he felt he was covering that, but Revzy finds a way around. And imagine Nupo going back on defense. Could possibly be me. Nupo immediately cheats up field as soon as his teammate has the ball. He's got full faith that something's going to happen. The ball will end up in the offensive half. Couldn't dream of it going back to my own net, says Nupo. And absolutely was shocked out of his mind to find out that it's possible for his team to get scored on when he pulls up too much. Revzy, I think, hitting a nice double, 4-4. The downsides of trying to play as wildly aggressive as Nupo showing up right now, although I think this is just a complete freebie. Kiernan touching into the ceiling and then Revzy should have been able to get back. I mean, as bad of a touch as that was, I think Revzy doesn't get caught up on the back wall. He's there for that save. Nupo will take his freebie and then tries to be passive as he looks to defend the dribble on the goal line. It gets forced into the top shelf. I mean, everybody in this lobby is a 1v1 or you can't really get away with those plays. Sometimes you can catch a player not used to those situations. Uh, and, you know, maybe they might shoot an early shot as opposed to trying to go for that low 50. Nice demo. Show you another Nupo goal. But not anybody in this lobby. They all know how to take those dribbles into low 50s. Almost seemed like a slight delay by Nupo on the kickoff in order to push the ball onto the right wall. Oh my goodness. How many of these? Okay, this actually isn't even a goal. I was like, we know this is a high scoring replay. This one looked completely gifted. Nupo actually just misses it. Despite how incredibly free it was. I always got Revzy alone. Interesting. You know, I just talked about how one's player is usually smarter than to just boom a shot at a defender who's shadowed and, you know, not in the best of positions. I would expect Nupo to take it a little bit slower. Of course, there was a rotating back extra defender. But certainly, he had the boost to figure out something more than just a power shot directly at the other team. But the save was going to be easy. What a challenge. Now, if that isn't a Nupo challenge, I don't know what is. And another one as well. I thought it was just going to go in, but Revzy actually found a way to make it back. Nupo dunking both players for the seventh goal. Nupo trying his best to stay on the ball off the kickoff. A demo. Going to give himself a bit of time to grab boost. Actually, an interesting 50 out to the midfield. First touch reset. Nupo's actually going to try and score it. Gets the reset here. But can't pop it over the top of Kiernan. Izixi back in a familiar spot. I have a feeling when he's playing with Nupo. Forced to play a little bit of 1v2 defense and buy himself some time to get Nupo back in help. Nupo not the best of clears. He doesn't get these high scoring games from his defense, he doesn't seem. Right now, he's actually in danger of even winning the game. 7-6. Minute left to go. Has to play quickly as Kiernan tries to demo him. He gets over the top of Rebzy as well. This is wide of the net though. A couple different shots. Could have been cleaned up a little bit and this could have been a ridiculous game. Dupo tries to steal the ball away from Mizixi. Any touch from a teammate is just a setup for him, certainly. And look at him cheating up field. He refuses to go back. Even if it's a one goal game in his favor, all he needs to do is play a little bit of defense. As soon as his teammate has the ball, he's fully cheating up field. Now he made it back this time and was able to keep his team up one. It's demoed. Can he get anything else on the board before it ends? Kiernan drops the ball to the back wall. Certainly there's no way Nupo scores this one, right? Could it be an assist? Oh, that's a freebie. No, oh, great save. I, I just keep assuming that, okay, maybe it eventually does get scored. I know there's no overtime because I admittedly make sure there are no overtimes. I don't want to get fake replays that come just from overtime. But 112 ping for Nupo on this EU server. And 1,564 points. I think that, that these two might be bigger than any other replay we saw of the other players. So, Nupo, hardcore range grinder, farming those shots, goals. This time, seven saves. So, we talked about how he's not really on defense a ton. But I feel like he had some free saves uh, every once in a while. But crazy games from Nupo. One of the craziest twos players to watch. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video of him 
playing in rank 2v2. If you have anybody else you'd like to think of, I mean, I think not necessarily your conventional players are the best. You, you want to look for anybody who plays really unique, and then it might be uh, it might be fun to see how they score a ton of points as opposed to just the best players who honestly sometimes can have boring top scoring games. Nupo, though, he's got a very exciting play style, very unique one. Super, super aggressive, loves his speed, and is willing to get scored on. It means he can stick to it. So let me know what you guys want to see next, and make sure if you support, if you really like the stream, you can support by subscribing.